So now I understand, instead of the vice president, you get me. How about that? <laughs> Your lucky day. How about that? <laughs> It is really great to be in a room with so many uh, really great friends who are focusing on closing the opportunity gap uh, in this country. This is one of the major challenges of our time. And um, at United Way Worldwide, across our United Way network, we're so excited to uh, be co-convening today's summit, to be working with Opportunity Nation, as Russell said, from almost the very beginning, and, and really partnering with so many dynamic leaders in this room and around the country. This is. Um, a really terrific opportunity for us to come together to help the country progress and make the country better. Uh, in particular, we are really thrilled that today's summit is, um, and the resulting call to action, are really focused on stronger education, career pathways for all of our young adults. Uh, we've been raising the issue of youth unemployment for, uh, from work on the ground with uh, local United Ways who are at the middle of a targeted social media campaign that uh, has been working and aimed at our elected officials to push them to offer real solutions. We've been working on real programs and real solutions. For example, our United Way in the Bay Area uh, is working on a program called Match Bridge, which last summer, yes, Bay Area, how about that, partnered with 24 companies to place 6,000 young people in jobs last summer. And that's just one example of the many, many ways in which United Way is all around our country are working on this issue of youth unemployment and uh, working with many of you as well to make it happen for, for young people. A big part today is thinking about what each of us can do in our own lives and how um, through our organizations we can work to get young people involved, young talent plugged into some meaningful pathways. As, you, as you've heard uh, throughout the day, we have an urgent crisis uh, to address and uh, we've got too many young people that are lacking access to good quality jobs. But the good news is that there is a bunch of really good work going on, uh, and it's already happening all around the country. Groups are leading innovative efforts that, um, that's providing skills training, and, and in, it's being informed by local workforce needs. People are working to make sure that students can earn and learn at the same time that they can get work experience while finishing a credential. Uh, partners are building out modern day apprentice, apprenticeships uh, that create talent pipelines. Community colleges, and I just spent some time backstage with a couple of my good friends who run community colleges in Miami and in Des Moines, Iowa. Community colleges and employers are partnering together, working together to find solutions to what students need and then pair them with uh, what local businesses need. Some are using civic engagement or service learning as a pathway to build skills and also networks which are so crucial to building uh, social capital. Many of the people leading this very innovative work every day are in this room today. So we want to take a moment to do two things. One is celebrate the great progress that uh, is being made and all the hard work that's already happening to increase meaningful uh, access to meaningful jobs around, all around the country. And then second, we want to challenge ourselves to join in the work. So we're going to show a map, I think. And on this map, um, there's a sampling of some existing youth employment work that's been submitted to Opportunity Nation. I'm sure it'll come up at some point. Um, people submitted lots of good examples of great work that's being done all around the country to close the Opportunity Divide. And we've started to uh, just scratch the surface of in collecting some of these initiatives. And there are already some 100 communities represented on this map. Um, which uh, cover a huge portion of the young adults who are disconnected from school and work in America today. So we encourage you to join one of these efforts. Uh, this information will be posted on Opportunity Nation's site after the summit as a part of the call to action. Um, and uh, if you're not involved, we certainly encourage you to get involved. The next thing I want to show you is just some of the logos of some of the great groups and organizations that are leading this youth, un youth employment work. Many of these groups, again, are, have been participating in the roundtable discussions today at the summit to discuss how to take their work to the next level and better align our organizations to make a bigger impact. If you currently work with one of these organizations that is up here, would you please stand right now and be recognized? Are you working with any of these organizations? Stand up. <laughs> Let us see you. We want to give you a round of applause for all your terrific work and thank you for the partnership. Uh, thanks to all of you who are working in the trenches. 
uh, to solve this very important challenge, to make sure that uh, irrespective of the zip code in which you are born or in which you live, that that does not determine how high you climb. So we all have an important commitment to make today, to make sure that young people in America have the tools they need, have the support they need, to make sure that they can fulfill on their greatest opportunity for success, their greatest potential for growth, that young people have the education and the training and the meaningful career pathways that they need to succeed. So thank you for all your hard work. And I want to give a special shout out to one organization that probably was on that slide. I am the president of United Way. I'm also on the board of Jobs for America's Graduates. And I want to give a special shout out to JAG, who's doing incredible work. <laughs> Doubling the rate that poor kids are able to get employment at all, and tripling the number of poor kids who are able to get secure full-time employment. This organization all around the country is doing amazing work, as are so many of you. So thank you again for being here today. I look forward to spending the rest of the afternoon with you.